The 17th of July Revolution was a bloodless coup in Iraq in 1968, led by General Ahmed Hassan al-Bakr, which brought the Iraqi regional branch of the Arab Socialist Ba'ath Party to power. Both Saddam Hussein, later President of Iraq, and Salah Omar al-Ali, later a Ba'athist dissident, were major participants in the coup. The Ba'ath Party ruled from the 17th of July Revolution until 2003, when it was removed from power by an invasion led by U.S. and British forces. The 17th of July Revolution is not to be confused with the 14th of July Revolution, a coup on the 14th of July 1958, when King Faisal II was overthrown, ending the Hashemite dynasty in Iraq and establishing the Republic of Iraq. While the exact circumstances leading up to the coup are shrouded in mystery, it appears that the non Ba'athists Abd ar Razak and Naif and Ibrahim al Daud who were, respectively, in charge of President Abdul Rahman Arif's military intelligence and personal security initiated the plot, and that Ba'athist conspirators, including al Bakr, Hardin al Tikriti, and Salah Mahdi Amish, were only asked to participate in order to establish a broader coalition of support for a new government. Many of the plotters were reportedly fond of President Arif. However, the coup was motivated by rumors that Arif's Nasserist and former Ba'athist Prime Minister, Tahir Yahya, who was increasingly dominating Arif's weak government due to the political climate engendered by the costly Arab defeat in the Six-Day War, planned to formally usurp all power for himself. After his ouster, Arif was sent on a plane to the United Kingdom, and even Yahya was not executed, because the new group didn't want world opinion to say theirs was just another Iraqi blood bath. However, on 30 July al Bakr arranged for the exile of both a Naif and al Daud, and assumed the position of Prime Minister from a Naif, solidifying the Ba'ath's control over Iraq for the next 35 years as al Bakr's deputy, Saddam Hussein, succeeded in consolidating a formidable political regime where so many others had failed including co-opting Yahya's intention to nationalize the Iraq Petroleum Company IPC with the help of the Soviet Union. Topic. See also 1969 Baghdad hangings List of modern conflicts in the Middle East Ramadan Revolution Topic. References Topic. External links See Memorandum from John W. Foster of the National Security Council Staff to the President's Special Assistant Rosto, the Iraqi coup and Memorandum from John W. Foster of the National Security Council Staff to the President's Special Assistant Rosto, a clearer picture of the Iraqi coup from the United States Department of State's Foreign Relations of the United States FRUS for early U.S. reactions to the coup. For contrasting British and American assessments of the new government, see Saddam Hussein and Memorandum Prepared in the Central Intelligence Agency, some notes on Iraqi politics from the National Security Archive and FRUS. Gibson, Brian R. April 2013. U.S. Foreign Policy, Iraq, and the Cold War 1958-1975. PDF, briefly discusses the completely false claim that the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency CIA supported the coup in a footnote on page 169.